I'm Smash! And I'm Axe, and you're watching POW Entertainment, where superheroes come to life. Welcome to Inside the Ropes. I am Mr. Riccolo. And I am the prophet of POW Entertainment, Skits M. Jones. And we have got an amazing show yes, for you do. here. We've got POW Entertainment where superheroes come to life, where the number one contendership for the POW television title takes place right here tonight, Skits. Not only that, we will see the television title defended. First things first. Both these matches from Slam Fest. We've got Rough Crossing facing off against the Lost Soul, Chris Cairo. Let's Rough Crossing on a mission. Uh, I really don't know what this mission is, but it seems like it's a stepping stone. He wants to get to the television title. He work wants Scott Spade. Work his way all the way up, regional title, tag title, work his way all the way up to the very top, the highest you can get, the power entertainment. World Championship. I, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Let's focus. First things first. Number one contendership on the line. Lost Soul Chris Cairo and the Cowboy from Hell Rough Crossing. One on one. Let's get to the ring. What you see is cowardice. I see is intelligence, RJ. And now this match is ready to begin. What do these fans know? They cheer people who lose matches. They boo people who win matches. They don't know any better. They're easily led sheep. They know people who have integrity and they appreciate it. Integrity counts for only so much, RJ. In the end, it's about win-loss records. It's about titles. It's about the almighty dollar. Take down by the hair. And repaid in kind. Both these men, very familiar with each other, have been in this company, in this business, about the same amount of time, know each other very well. They've had opportunities to wrestle with each other and against each other. Both men former world champions, former tag champions. Both men gunning for that television title. Rough Crossing, as of this moment, having a little more desire for the belt to stay around the waist of its current holder, Scott Spade. Chris Cairo will face whoever, whenever. Right back, get him out of the corner. Pee Wee Perella, it's been a while since he's been out there as a referee, and he is just allowing Chris Cairo to, to, to run rough shot over his authority and do as he pleases. Well, it's, it's not that he's doing as he pleases. You gotta remember what's at stake here. This is for the Powell Television title. This is a stepping stone to get up to the big one, and everybody wants a shot at the world championship. You talk about doing whatever it takes, and then whenever your lesser favorites do whatever it takes, you cry foul. You make no sense, Riccolo. Oh. And you talk about the just, television Just title. relax, Skits. Just relax. Settle down. Uh, take your riddle in. Just, just and remember what's going on out here in the ring. That's exactly what I'm talking about. What's going on in the ring. You can say the world title is what they're all gunning for, but I tell you what. Like I the, said, it's the a stepping stone. The television championship is a stepping stone. The television title is one of the more important oh, the most solidly held belts in this company. Chris Gyro going up. Trying to knock in that 3 1 2. He didn't get all of it. Rough crossing, managing to hold off the assault there. And now Cairo on the second rope. What do we 
he's seeing Look here. Look at the strength of crossing. Oh! Reversing it. Catapult. Cairo counters. I'm back up on the turnbuckle. Crossing don't know what's going on. Take more than a cross body to put away rough crossing. That might do Pulling it. through. Still not enough. Chris Cairo is going to need to pull out every trick in his playbook if he's going to put the crossing away. Swinging neck breaker. And again, one, two, not enough. Now back in control, laying those hand bones right into the head of Chris Cairo. Cairo sets him up. And is great to cross that middle rope again. He's going to the well one more time. Will he hit it? And Crossing has it scouted and swiftly moves out of the way. And oh, what a big, big. with ferocity, rough crossing, first man to his feet, dropping the forearm. Yeah, the Sage coaching his man from the outside, telling him get back into it. That's exactly what a good manager does. Nicholas H is looking to bring rough crossing to the very top of power entertainment, and so far he has been doing an outstanding job of it. Rough Crossing has one of the most impressive win-loss records in POW Entertainment right now. And right now he is in control. One, two. Pee Corella taking a little bit of time to get into position there. That could have been it. But just not quite enough. And now Chris Cairo laying into rough crossing. These two guys have been fighting back and forth. There's been no complete domination in this match yet. Cairo is strong, but crossing is just too big. for all the crowd to see. You know, the crowd it's loves like Chris puppet. Cairo. The crowd loves Chris Cairo, and Crossing was letting them all see him, you know, but give, giving them a better Give me a break, point. Jones. What the hell is this? What? Rough Crossing is, is arguing. Oh, look at the What I have. Pirella wanted to have an exchange of words with Rough Crossing. He did, and now, not quite enough. You can see the frustration on the face of Rough Crossing. One, two, again, not quite enough. legal, nothing wrong with that. Oh, and he digs that nerve hole in. And that hurts. Now, you think you will oh, hold that on, and that arm is going to lose every bit of strength. As I said, Chris Cairo, a very strong individual, but if you can cut off that, that circulation, cut off the nerves to that arm and, and disrupt the flow of blood to the, to the neck and head at the same time. I mean, if you can really lay in there, you can, you can ruin your adversary. Connecting with the skull of uh, Rough Crossing, he was able to break out of that. We'll have to see what damage that's done. Oh, what a vicious backbreaker right there! I think Crossley calls that the breakback mountain. You know what, RJ? Oh, be That's quiet. about enough. We get it. How old is that reference? 
One, two, still not enough. Close, but no cigar. the lost soul, Chris Cairo. Michael Asaitz exhorting his man in the corner. Chris Cairo trying to work himself up. Crossing up first. And he takes a shot to the gut. Chris Cairo, very aware of his opponent in the ring, lays in that close line. Looks like Cairo got the low. upper hand now. Oh, spin back heel. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh. Nicholas H having a heart attack there. He thought it was all over for crossing. Cross has spun that shoulder up just for the last second. Make sure Cairo's got those those hands open. No close fists there, Pee Wee. Up, up and over. And Cairo delivers a slap to the spine. This will be the third attempt. And there it is. The 3-1-2. For the Looks like wash. we're going to have a new number one contender for the PAL TV title. Oh, a big elbow dropped with the knees of crossing up and broke right into it. Might have caught Cairo a little off guard. He might have been setting up for the bum rush. Decided to drop the elbow at the last minute. Rough crossing, saw enough to break it up. Pump handle. Pump into the tombstone. Mercy. Oh, oh. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Rough Crossing, the I cowboy guess. from hell, is your number one contender for the POW television title. And we will see who he will be facing for that television title in just a few moments. But before we get there, we need to talk about what else is coming up in POW Entertainment. POW returns March 18th, Villa Park VFW. 8 o'clock bell time. Make sure you're there, Skips. There's a lot going on that night. And the following night, March 19th, the American he Legion Hall Fox Lake, former WWE diva, the former straight edge sweetheart herself, Serena, returns to POW Entertainment to face off against one time queen. One time queen, Melanie, Melanie Cruz. Cruz. If you haven't heard or if you've been living under a rock, Mickey, the new queen of POW Entertainment. Now, there is one more show we need to talk about, and that is March 12th in Midlothian. Midlothian, that's right, Ed Durbin's. There's going to be a show over there by POW Entertainment. Just make sure that all you fans are going to be there. There's going to be a great afternoon of wrestling. I'm saying afternoon because matches start right around 12 o'clock. You know what? That's enough talking about the future. It's time to talk about right now, and what is happening right now is... The POW television title defense as Scott Spade tries to hold on to that television title against former TV title holder Justin James. Well, Justin James has been trying for the longest time to get that title back, and, and you know what? You know what? what? He never lost it. There is yet to be a fair, straight down the middle title defense, but we will I see. I wish he would leave me alone. I bet you do. Let's go to the ring and see what happens.
And for the record, he should still be the television champion. He has never lost the belt in a clean one-on-one -on -one contest. Dustin James has never had a clean one-on-one -on -one contest. Now that, that, that is unfounded. So Riccolo, let me tell you something. I'm a little upset right now. Somebody took Justin James' megaphone. No. And I just like that now. So whoever's got it better get it back. anything away from Scott Spade in terms of his in-ring capabilities. He is one of the best when it comes to being an in-ring technician. However, that being said, I must restate, he has yet to win clean over Justin James. Therefore, Justin James should still be your television champion. This match is underway. You know, I I talk about the technical prowess of Scott Spade, but I should not take anything away from Justin James, the man who just a scant few months ago retired Brandon Bishop to win the television title in the first place, or to to retain the television title, I should say. And Justin James has grown up in the wrestling business. His uncle. Paradise, who may have been involved somewhat in that that win at Wrestle Rage, but you know what? That's neither here nor there. And there you go. There is some of that that mat grappling right there that we talked about. Scott Spade looking to wrench the arm straight out of the socket. Many fans may recall that Justin James had a, a, a vicious shoulder injury that kept him out of action for quite some time. I would I hate that was just a, uh, an exercise prop. No, RJ, that was orthopedic. That was necessary. Yeah. Exercise bra. What is the matter with you? You scoff at a man's legitimate injuries. I bet you walked up to Ruthless Ramon dancing when he was still on crutches. You're despicable. And speaking of despicable, Scott Spade continuing to focus on, on that previously injured shoulder. You know, probably looking to injure it again, knowing the kind of person that Scott Spade is. Oh, Justin James has gone down. He's grabbing at that right knee. He's hurt. Someone check on him. Referee, do your job. Check on him. Make sure he's okay. I, for one, am deeply concerned. I would hate to see this match not be able to continue. Oh, from behind, Justin James with a kick to the back of the skull. No, 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 no. I, that was, uh, he was limbering up, and Scott Spade, you know, he should have stayed in his corner. That wouldn't have happened. No. 
You're, you're imagining things there, RJ. I, I saw no such thing. Like I said, Justin James was just limbering up, and Scott Spade should have stayed in his corner. Big atomic drop. And a vicious, vicious clothesline right there. And Justin James showing why he was the most well-defended champion in power when he held the TV title, and he looks to do so again. Not quite enough right there. Justin James, John with the ref, John with the crowd. He better concentrate on wrestling Scott Spade. So hit Spade up and back down. Drops that leg. One, two. Again, not quite enough. You really have to wear down someone like Scott Spade. You can't just drop a few legs and expect it to be over. Spade is just a little too vicious, a, a little too violent, a little too aggressive for that. All right, now Justin James has that knee locked in. Spade getting back up, laying those elbows in. Trying to get Justin James to break hold, and he does. Right back into it. Justin James knew exactly what was happening and capitalized. Using his opponent's momentum against him. One, two, still not enough. A weapon. No, no, no. It was a little too tight. He was losing range of motion. I've seen that kind of thing. You know, I, I, I know that's what was happening. He's going for it. The gold ghost lock. Does he have it? It's cinched in. This could be it. How do you get out of such a maneuver? Trouble. Right in the center of the ring. How do you escape? How do you break this hold? Scott Spade trying to roll himself through, and he does. Oh, Justin James face right into the turnbuckle. Well, I asked the question, how do you get out of that hold? If anyone would know, it would be Scott Spade. Both men to their feet. Well scouted right there. The ace of spades going for the ace crusher, but Justin James saw it coming and pushed him off. Now James sizing up his opponent. What could we be in store for here? Justin James has just been one step ahead of Scott Spades for this match. What a suplex, bridging up. Just a two count. I thought he had it there. He's a paying fan. He wants to see everything what's going on over here. Well, that's perfectly acceptable. He should be allowed to do so. He is. He's checking out his nephew is what he's doing to make sure he's doing everything right. That well, sack of crap. There are plenty of family members in the audience. And, 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 oh, oh What do you know? <laughs>
television champion Rough Crossing. So enjoy it while you still got it. The master of the sneak attack. He has beaten Scott Spade time and time again. The future looks bleak for the ace of spades. A disappointing loss for Justin James as Scott Spade finally gets his clean victory over the former television champ, your winner, still champion, and still down in the ring, Scott Spade. He will face Rough Crossing in one-on-one -on -one action for that television title sometime in the not-too-distant future. Well, there you have it. The match is over. Granted, Scott Spade wins it, finally, in a fair contest. But the real story is Rough Crossing taking out his frustrations on Scott Spade. Definitely a man on a mission, Skits Jones. Well, we will see what happens as these two men continue to cross each other's paths. But we are out of time. Do not forget to check out powentertainment.com. Where superheroes come to life. I am Mr. Riccolo. And I am Skits M. Jones. We'll see y'all next week. Good night, everybody.